Committee of the Whole is called to order. During Committee of the Whole, lawmakers and members of the executive branch shifted their focus to Bill 181-35, uh, authored by Speaker Tina Munya Barnes. The measure expedites the Guam World War II Loyalty Recognition Act, which authorizes the Foreign Claims Settlement Commission to accept and adjudicate claims and direct the Secretary of the Treasury to make adjudicated claim payments. The bill also creates the 75th Guam Liberation War Claims Fund and authorizes the governor to transfer $7.5 million from FY 2019 General Fund appropriations for the purposes of compensating war claim survivors. The intent is that money will be repaid back to the government of Guam with the passage of Congressman Michael St. Nicholas's H.R. 1365. But the big looming question was why the congressman or representative was not present. Speaker Barnes says she tried to communicate as late as yesterday to his office, and Vice Speaker Talina Nelson also raised concerns to the governor's chief of staff, Tony Babalta. I did extend uh, a courtesy call out to him mm -hmm. to see if he wanted to be here today, but we did not get a response. I don't hear Mr. Sinicholas's name, though we're working closely with Mr. Sinicholas in there. And that's my concern. We're keeping Mr. St. Nicholas surprised at everything that we're doing. Absolutely. But are we getting a response? In response, a livid St. Nicholas called into the Andrea Pelicani show on News Talk K57 to say he wasn't even invited. Andrea, I, I never received a call from the speaker. I never received a call from anyone in the legislature. I never received a call from Regine Lee, who's the chair of the Federal Affairs Committee. I never received a call from the vice speaker, Talina Nelson. All of them have my number. All of them have me on WhatsApp. None of them have reached out to me. So Nicholas says he's been available, and this act from the legislative and executive branches is an absence of sincerity. The bottom line is we have been writing from Treasury and from Interior that the H.R. 1365 that we're moving forward is something they're willing to get behind, and this entire local wild goose chase has nothing in writing from any federal agency. Nothing. Meanwhile, Bureau of Budget and Management Research Director Lester Carlson says it's too early to tell how much will be available to pay out local war claims. But how will GovGuam be repaid? GovGuam uh, providing the funding, the local funding up front, uh, will only get repaid uh, with the passage of H.R. 1365. Babauta explains the Department of the Treasury didn't have the authority to expend the money that was being collected from the Department of the Interior. However, only with the passage of St. Nicholas's legislation does the technical flaw become corrected. He also notes that the $750 million is only going to the first batch of adjudicated claims of approximately 750 survivors. However, St. Nicholas says there are several steps that need to clear federally, and it is a legitimate risk if this local measure passes. I I'm so livid of the absence of leadership on the legislature side, on the governor's side, allowing for the chief of staff to take our people down this course, get it in writing. Josh Dikenko, PNC News.